This problem involves finding the maximum area of a geometric shape, shape. So we should start off by drawing a picture of it that we can label. And remember our goal is to use just one variable if we can in the picture. So we have a track that looks like that. Um, <clears throat> it'll work out well um, if we let x be the distance across um, the middle just because um, there's a formula for the uh, circumference of a circle that says that the total distance around a circle is just pi times its diameter. So if we let the diameter be x, then pi times x is going to be the distance around the outside of the circle. So since there's half a circle on each end, that means there's pi times x meters just in the circular part of the track. Now we're told that the entire track is supposed to have a perimeter of 1900 meters, and so whatever distance is over here it's the same as the distance over here, and all of those distances have to add up to 1900 meters. So I have the length of the field or track plus the length of the field again, plus pi times x has to be equal to 1900. And so <clears throat> that means that this length of the side, this question mark that I've written, has to be a half of 1900 minus pi x. So it's a, <clears throat> it is a weird uh, label to have to have there, but it is true that each side of my picture has to have length one, ha <clears throat> one half of 1900 minus pi x meters. So now that I've accomplished my goal of uh, drawing a labeled picture that only uses one uh, variable, the uh, the question is how do we air, how do we maximize the area of the of the rectangle that's in the middle of that? So we need to have a function whose outputs are areas. And the reason I know I want the output to be area is because I'm trying to maximize area. <clears throat> so I need, I know that with the the methods that we have we can find the vertex of a parabola, which is the maximum output of the quadratic function. And so we just have to match up what we know how to do with the words in the problem. So we need an area fo a formula for the, uh, for the rectangle, and so we can see that the, the width of the rectangle is x, and then the dimension this way for the rectangle is this 1 half 1900 minus pi x thing that we just found. So 1 half times 1900 minus pi x. And so <clears throat> we can um, we can now do this in one of two ways. We we can find since this is factored, we can find the two uh, roots of this, the two zeros of this, and we know that the vertex is halfway in between. Or we could write it in the ax squared plus bx plus c form, and then use the formula minus b over two a for the x coordinate of the vertex. So I'll do the latter thing, um, just because I think that's the solution method that's in the book. Um, so. <clears throat> if I write this in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, the x squared term should come first. The coefficient of the x squared term should be minus one-half pi times x squared. And then the uh, there's an x term that comes from a half times 1900 times x, so it's probably smart to multiply a half times 1900 and get 950 times x, and there's no other term in this. There's no, there's no c term at all in this. So if I use my formula for the vertex, the x-coordinate of the vertex is minus b over 2a, which in this case is minus 950. That's the, that's the b, divided by 2a. And so the a is here. The a is minus 1 half pi. So 2a is just minus pi. And so the value of x is 950 over pi meters. And so remember, pi is just a number, so there's nothing wrong with, with that. It looks a little weird. But pi is about 3, and so 950 over pi is um, whatever it is, 300-some meters. So the... Um, so this is not a crazy, um, crazy number. It just has a pi in it. The um, the y coordinate of the vertex, 
we get from plugging our x coordinate, 950 over pi, in for x in the a of x formula. And so if I do that, I'll have x times a half, so 950 over pi times a half is going to be, uh, what's half of 950? 475, 475 over pi. So that's what my one-half x will be, 475 over pi, and then 1900 minus pi x. Um, pi x, ti pi times x is just pi times 950 over pi. So the pi's cancel out there, and you have 1900 minus 950. So that's just 950. So the, um, so the, the y-coordinate of the... Um, of the parabola is whatever 475 times 950 divided by pi is. And so those are the dimensions. Um, notice that in the problem it does tell us to, um, this is definitely not a whole number so we don't have to worry about it being an integer. So in this case they don't want the exact answer, they just want the decimal rounded off to the nearest hundredth. So um, so for both of these values, um, just do this calculation in your calculator and round it correctly to two decimal places, and that will be the, um, the numbers that go there. It does say separate them with a comma. So that's the solution method. It's not much different than the other problem with the, um, with the single rectangle, but it certainly looks more complicated because of the, the circular part of the track. It gives us a pi that, that keeps showing up in the different parts of the equation.